All right, in this video, we're going to separate the uh, shadows from our line work. This is a file that we brought in from Revit. Right now, it's got both shadows and line work on it. Uh, below it, we have one that just has the line work. So this way, we can separate the two. So I'm going to select this layer. And then up in the uh, select, we can go to color range. And we're going to be selecting a color range. Right here, we see a window. This is a preview. Everything that's in white is what would be selected. We're going to do a sample color. We can also change the fuzziness, which means how much of that color uh, we're looking for. So if I click on the eyedropper tool on the color of the shadows, then it gives me a preview of everything that's selected. So right now, what I see in white here are all the shadow colors that have been selected. If I change the amount of fuzziness, I can be more picky about my selection. So I want to make it where it looks like in the preview that I have just all the shadows. And then I say OK. Now all the shadows are selected, but those are what I want to keep. So I'm going to do a shortcut command, Control Shift I, which is an inverse selection. Now that I've inverse selected, I have everything selected except my shadows. And when I have that done, I can just hit the delete key and I can delete out everything else other than my shadows. If I go off and I deselect, I can now see that I have a layer that just has the shadows and then I can turn on my line work layer below it. And now I've selected uh, or I've separated my shadows from my line work.